You need to be near an access point to save your data. You can see access points on the close range map. Be sure to save often. Maintenance finished? Yes, Commander. You detonated your black box in order to defeat the enemy. Bold, but risky. Try not to be so reckless next time. Understood. I know you're fresh out of maintenance, but I have another mission for you. I need you to head to the surface, rendezvous with the Resistance, and do some recon. Doesn't Yorha have a dedicated Resistance contact already? We haven't been able to get in touch with them, so we'll need you to look into that as well. Understood. The surface? That means we'll be getting flight units, huh? Better head for the hangar. <laughs> Usually we can't get near flight units. They're way too expensive for us grunts. Too bad they can't mass produce these things yet. a combat model like you to a recon job. If all they want is intel, we scanner models are built for that kind of thing. Orders are orders. All right, all right. Tubi, you're going to have some new weaponry installed from here on out. I'll put up instructions for you. Make sure to commit them to memory. Not Unfortunately. Sorry for the trouble, but we can't risk the enemy discovering their position. Understood. Good luck down there. Target location acquired. Marking on map. Proposal. Proceed to target location. Point 
According to our intel, none of the machines in this area are hostile. We've been seeing more and more enemies like this lately. They just stand there and stare into space. It's pretty weird. Data obtained from Bunker. Data may be displayed from the system menu. Map data, huh? It's hard to get an accurate picture from this. Our satellite resolution isn't so hot. Hopefully they deploy some new satellites soon. A general idea is good enough. <laughs> you don't let anything get in your way, do you? So this is the resistance camp, huh? We should probably go talk to their leader first thing. You're... number two. Hmm? You know about 2B? Um, yes, well, the bunker told me to expect you. My name is Anemone. I'm the leader of the android resistance that controls most of this territory. You must be the new scouts we heard about. Well, I'm sure my people will have plenty of information for you. Please, feel free to ask them anything you like. This must have been quite a city once upon a time. Too bad vegetations claim most of it now. to 2B. It is time for your regularly scheduled contact. This is 2B. Nothing to report. Good to hear. Say, how's the weather on Earth today? Good? It's fine. Does that question have anything to do with our operation? Not really. I just figured it might feel nice to have some good weather. Feeling nice has no bearing on completing missions. <laughs> that is so like you, 2B. Anyway, talk to you later. This is the place that weapons trader was talking about. Uh-oh. I'm picking up hostile machine life forms. That should be enough. Let's get these back to the trader. Plant life has claimed most of the central area. Big plants, too. Report. Records show that vegetation has grown to an abnormal size since the departure of humans. Hmm. Wonder if there are any huge boars and such, too. Okay, that's everything the supply trader asked for. Man, these chores are a real pain in the butt, huh? The Resistance is a valuable ally to Yorha. By helping them, we also help ourselves. So no, I don't think they're a pain. Yeah, yeah. Operator to 2B. Come in, 2B. 
We need you to collect the materials required to improve the network environment. You're going to need a rusty bolt, a small gear, and a spring. You should be able to find them on small-sized enemies. Once you have everything, please take it to the Resistance Leader Anemone. Understood. Hi. Pod 042 to Operator. Coordinates confirmed for location specified by Resistance Leader. Understood, 042. Placing marker on target. The desert heat is going to make resupply efforts difficult, 2B. Please make sure you're ready before you go. 2B to Operator 60. Material handover complete. Copy that. Good work. I see the commander's as much of a slave driver as ever. It's like she was built to be as efficient and hard-assed as possible. Oh, she's not so bad. But are you serious? Totally serious. The commander actually lets a lot of things slide on the side. Like, did you know that she leaves piles of clothes strewn everywhere? The cleaning team is so sick of it. Oh, and she never performs regular maintenance on herself. A lot of the hard-ass nature you mention is just for show. How do you know all this? <laughs> I can't tell you that. Operator 6-0, out. What the heck was all that about? from Yorha, right? I've heard about you guys. We've got a squad mate waiting in a rocky stretch up ahead. Head on over. Just remember that there's nowhere to resupply out there. If you need anything, best to take care of it here while you can. What can I help you with? The Council of Humanity has a message for all of our brave androids fighting on the surface. Currently, our struggle against the machine life forms is at a stalemate. This battle has raged for far too long. I am sure all of you find the effort grueling. But now is not the time to give up. Now, more than ever, we must forge on. Remember that several hundred thousand humans on the moon want nothing more than to return to Earth. Glory to mankind. Those council broadcasts are always so stiff. Report. Mail notification received from access point. Hey. Our leader told me all about you. Name's Jackass. Nice to meet you. I hear you're planning to take out all the machines in the desert? Guess that means we need to get that entrance open. Looks like it. So, um, Jack... Ass, was it? Uh, what are you doing all the way out here? Hmm? Oh, that? Well... Wouldn't want to have anyone getting tangled up in that, now would we? Don't go trying to be a hero, alright? Who opens a sealed gate with explosives? There's gotta be an easier way, right? This sand sure is slippery. Careful. We've got enemies approaching. Android desert. <laughs> These machines are talking. Yeah, I heard from the Resistance that they've been seeing this a lot lately. 
Couldn't tell you why, though. Understand the concept of being scared? Enemy. Kill. Enemy. Why? What's with the weird looking outfits? I've seen that sort of thing when I was going through some old data. It looks like what humans used to wear long ago. Certain human collectives used to use face paint like that, too. To be, it's fine. Their speech doesn't mean anything. They're just emitting words at random. If they wanted help, why would they be attacking us? Yeah. Rocky area. Individual target ID marked. What's that? Analysis. It is the ruin of a former human residential area. Large numbers of humans resided in such concrete and metal shelters. The structures were referred to by names such as apartment complex. Report. Mail notification received from access point. Target confirmed. Let's get him. Hello. How are you? Nice. Everyone, 
wonder what makes them choose these words. These are android bodies. Hypothesis. They were killed by local machine life forms. What are they doing here? Unknown. It's like they were gathered here. There it goes! They don't give up. Run. Run. Must run. Multiple machines detected ahead. But what's with these android bodies? Stay focused. to them to be together forever together forever carry me carry they don't have any feelings they're just imitating human speech let's take them out happening. <gasps> An android? No. This... This is a machine!
Is this really a machine? Not another one. To be, we got to get out of here. Come on, through that hole. Stopped. Looks like we're safe now. What the hell just happened? I know. I've never seen a machine like that before. We better report this to command. Let's move to an area with better reception so we can contact command. Okay, this is good. We should be able to reach command here. 9S to bunker. Do you copy? I read you, 9S. Go ahead. Operator, we, uh... We just encountered a pair of humanoid machines. We weren't able to capture them. But I have combat data ready for upload. Understood. Ready to receive. Hopefully you can get something out of it. Well, that certainly took some turns that I wasn't quite expecting. I mean... I was already thinking that the machines were more than what they appeared to be. And honestly, I'm currently still, I still don't think that it was an alien invasion that came in, kicked humans off the planet with like the machine life forms. Because if that was the case, then why didn't those aliens come after humans on the moon when they went to the moon? I'm more thinking the machine life forms were made by humans and it got out of hand and they had to leave Earth because of that. Just because, I mean, that's just like my theory, theory right, na right now is the machine life forms were originally made by humans. Soon it got out of control. Humans did not know how to deal with it, so flood the planet. And now the humans have been sending androids to try to clean clean the slate off, wipe out all the machines, so they can come back if there's any humans still alive on the moon. Who knows what's going on with that. But that is very interesting that the machines apparently can work together to make an androids. And really damn advanced androids, apparently. Given how tough it was when it didn't have any weapons of its own. But yeah, 9S right now is being way too oblivious to machines. He's saying, yeah, they're just imitating human speech. And while some of the machines you see do are just imitating like a parrot would, you know, just repeating things that they heard, other ones, you know, it's very obvious they're using words in context, like the one machine you're chasing. He's saying run, run away scared, and that's what he's doing. You know, he's obviously, or it's obviously, I should say, it's obviously using the words in context. It's not randomly choosing those. But I am definitely curious, because obviously the machines, I think, were much more primitive in terms of their thought processes. But since they've been on Earth, they've been slowly learning from the data that was left behind by, you know, the humans when they left. Hence why you see the, some of them, you know, wearing tribal materials, tribal outfits. They're just slowly learning kind of more to be a society in a sense, you know? But it's very interesting, and I am still wondering how that second, like, Android, like, climbed out 
of the dead one. How does that work energy-wise? I mean, I, I, that just boggles the mind right there, but I'm sure we'll find out more. But man, that was taking a really sharp turn. I wasn't expecting the machines to be to actually make androids. I'm guessing they sort of they gathered the androids there is to study them, learn from them. That's what I'm thinking anyway. But yeah, that one scene before they made the androids and before they were attacked was just kind of really good. I didn't want to initiate combat on that just because it's just like what these machines are like imitating like dead humans or whatnot. I'm part of me wonders if there is something like human consciousness being uploaded into them. Like, I do actually have a theory with the androids that they might have, like, the consciousness of a human, you know, uploaded into them. I, I could be dead wrong on that, but it just seems weird how many different androids are, like, you know, android resistance. That's just a really odd kind of thing. I thought all the androids were, you know, for the, from the Yorha forces. It is kind of perplexing to have androids that are, you know, just kind of separate from Yorha, you know, resistance and what have you, and how they're acting, you know, basically like you would, any human would in that situation with, you know, trying to make do, heal, all that kind of stuff. And it just makes me wonder if there is some kind of digital consciousness transfer that's happened at some point in the past between you know humans and the androids but androids could just be that that advanced that they are basically you know like data from star trek except much more advanced in the in terms of emotional capacity and stuff like that to where you know they just they have all the emotions intelligence of humans so that's why they act so human I mean, it's obvious that the androids are sentient beings, just like Data was in Star Trek. But, I don't know, that's, that's all I can think of right now from this, but man, that this game's already throwing kind of twists at you, you know, making you go, go you know, what the fuck is actually going on? But, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, I'd like to thank you for watching, and I uh, hope to see you uh, in another one down the road. Bye for now.